Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Docker images and also then I will cover uh, vulnerabilities on the Docker image and then how to remediate those and then if you, there are certain tools that we can use to scan and also uh, remediate vulnerabilities. So beginning with the Docker images, what is a Docker image? So it starts with the Docker file, right? So, uh, so let me go from here. So when like we're talking about Kubernetes, right? In a Kubernetes cluster, what runs is are multiple pods. These pods run a container. Each pod can run one or more containers, but mostly it's a one-to-one. -one. So when a container runs, what is inside a container is basically your operating system, what, uh, like the base operating system, whatever you want, your libraries, and then finally your apps. For example, if you're running a Java app, you will have base maybe uh, Alpine or UBI, and then you will have some libraries and if something external packages that you need like curl or open SSL, and then you'll put your java your app dot jar or your java jar whatever or if you want spring boot that will all be a part of your app so that comes as part and then when it's running it, it it becomes a container so every container has to have an image so the image the first point everything starts with a docker file so docker file this is a sample docker file very some basic one it says from ubuntu right so it's basically using a base operating system ubuntu particular version you can put as many labels as you want and then you can have um, and then it will have uh, you can have a so i've just put a so this is basically your packages so you want to update you want to get Bash, you want to get you know you can do curl or whatever you want you can put it on it and then finally you can run a command where you can also say you know java jar run your jar file but this is your docker file so the second step is you build there are commands to build a docker file you can say docker build and then you know in the same folder as docker file when it builds it will be, uh, what will come out of it is an image so if you do docker i'll show you the commands in a bit so when you do docker images you will see all those images and then finally you that is the image that you will run inside the container so if you then do docker run and then you give give the image then the container will run that image so in this whole thing where does the vulnerability come now vulnerabilities can be our security risks right they can be a part of the base image for example you have put pulling ubuntu if you go to docker hub and if there is a scanner you have access to you can check does it have any vulnerability or not then there are libraries so you can check if there is any vulnerability in any package that you're putting if you're putting curl or any libraries that you're putting open cell latest version older version does it have vulnerabilities and, and if you have spring boot does it have vulnerabilities so all that is what uh, forms the vulnerabilities of the docker image so what is what is it is vulnerabilities are so important there are four types of them they are important because we need to get rid of them otherwise your container will be running the one with that image will have all those loop you know uh, issues while it's running there are four type of there are four categories critical high medium and low so most of the time each of them based on the organization they will have like different slas where you have to clean the image so how do you, so if you once you build an image how do you know if the image has a vulnerability or not there are many tools so one of the thing is that there are tools like online scanners like trivi is a very good one it's an open source but there are other companies like Aquasec and there are multiple Docker registries like ECR uh, for AWS and then uh, the, all these registries and there is Artifactory is very popular one. So and the Artifactory has something called X-Ray. So X-Ray tool is used to scan the image. So once the image is scanned, that's where it will list all the vulnerabilities. So let me show you on my uh, uh, screen. Sorry, not here. Uh, let me go here so in this one so what i did was let me show how many images i have let's just do images for now so i have all these images and um uh, this is the size this is some general information now what i did i am using aquasec trivi so Trivi is a free tool, so you can download it or you can just do a Docker run. So I did a Docker run, Aquasec Trivi, and I'm giving the image Alpine 3.19.1. This is not the image that I built. This is just an image that I 
um it's available on docker hub so but i want to check does it have any vulnerability should i use it or not so you can use trivi to do that so if i run a trivi with the image then it basically downloads the image first uh, if it's not available and if after that it will scan the image and then it will show so if you see this it's not really pretty because it's showing directly on the command you know on the screen but if the number so if i so let's take a medium one so this is the cve and it also specify what is the issue so this is the version uh busy box use after arc so it all and then if and this is the details of the vulnerability so actually if you just google as is related to ssl client so if you just google on this vulnerability you will be able to find out what is the where which which part of the library that i'm using on the image has the vulnerability and if there is a fix so the, if according to this 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 because you're using this in outmine which is not your image right it's anyway you have pulled it from docker hub but it has this vulnerability and the fix will be in r17 so one option is to explicitly go into the image and update you know you can do apk update and just apk update the version of ssl client to 136.1 r17 or sometimes even at docker hub whoever published that image they also will build a newer version like 3.19.2 and that can have a fix for the vulnerability so if i uh, run that image and if i execute so let's see in that alpine image what is the version of ssl underscore client available so let me just do docker run and now i am inside the container so let me do apk uh, or is it apk is it apk yeah apk list right let's grab for ssl So the another thing is if anything in the uh, it's a very important to have so how does this uh, where is it getting the packages from so it gets the packages from uh, the like uh, there are multiple package repos so this one is looking at this so if you do cat etc apk repositories So this this is the path right so this is where it's looking at so but it's not able to reach probably um something on my network but basically it is supposed you can do an apk i can i do apk update update okay good so it did it now it's able to reach somehow anyway so now if i grab for ssl client it's not there so if i want to do open ssl let's do something if it's able to so it was able to find this one so but the issue in the libraries was um let's see ssl let's do so it does has ssl client of okay, its underscore my bad so i'm looking for ssl client so when you see it, the version it has is 1.36 that's the one which is installed and that's the one that has a vulnerability but to fix you have to go to the next version right so we so let's see so i have to do apk up, uh, so i want to get apk add right ssl underscore c l i e n t equal to let me i want to do this one eight and then apk add so I will so I have what do I have APK list right grab SSL underscore client so I have 1.36.1 yes so basically um, what I did was I did APK update and I gave the next level version so I did um, I checked right what all is available so the you can only update to what all is available right so when I did APK list grep SSL client it gave me two versions 15 and 17 so 15 has a vulnerability so we have to now make sure that we update to the next one so then I did APK update to this next so the, so now when we check the vulnerability should be gone so i didn't i have to i didn't save this image so i have to save this image so i'm running it in a I, I team interactive mode. so but so that's but you can so the best way is to run so go to the docker file and up, run an apk update this the same command so then when it is because because the docker containers are um, so when the container is running after you make any change right 
it will go away because they are only as long as they are alive ephemeral right then it will go away so the best thing is to test it inside the container what you can update and then after that you can go and uh, fix it so that's so now we scanned the image using trivi and then we also these are the tools but we started now if that image if we rebuild that image the vulnerability should be gone so but there are there can be cases where there are a lot of vulnerabilities and it's not easy for one person to fix all the vulnerabilities so what you need is like a team and then it has to be a continuous automated process because man this is a lot of manual work so there are a lot of there are ways in which like there are companies out there who help uh, help in uh, you know fixing vulnerabilities so chain guard is one such one uh, one such company what they claim is that if you see um chain guard right it's called chain guard dash dev images so if you see this what they give you is basically they say that they run images which are vulnerability free so you see this one right they're saying all their vulnerability uh, images have zero vulnerabilities so a lot of uh, you know if it, it it works out because they're already giving it out so it's a good way to uh, use uh, just get their images and then write your software on top of it and they support all the you know they have a bunch of like java if you're using python node they have all of these so that's one of the option and then that's the uh lot of uh, open source there might be some open source pro products out there i haven't explored it but this is um something which is some which gives us which you know give security